Okay, so this is a topic out of um, out of free calculus, polynomial division, and this actually is considered, as I said before, is considered advanced algebra. The only reason that uh, if that's worth mentioning is that because this is very, very doable. You can definitely do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this. So we're going to take this divided by this, which looks kind of weird, doesn't it? So if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this portion right here. I'm going to put it into the form of long division that you know. And I'll write it in yellow. That's all right. So, Billy, I'm just going to rewrite this problem. I'm going to take my x to the fourth minus 0x is cubed minus 0x is squared minus 0x's minus 16. All true, isn't it? Isn't this all true? Can you see that just from an arithmetic standpoint, this is just, these are just placeholders, aren't they? It's going to really, really help you. So please make a note to yourself. So if you're listening to this tonight, this is where you stop the video and you remind yourself how important these placeholders are going to be to you. Without them, your answer is going to get really screwy, okay? Okay. So now we're going to rewrite this piece right here. This piece, I don't care about. The one thing I am going to do, Joshua, is this. I'm going to keep the lead coefficient, the lead term is this x squared, is this x squared, right? The rest of it, I say, let it follow. So I'm just going to let this stuff follow. See if you can see what I mean here. Billy, I take this, I take x to the fourth divided by x squared is what? Is x squared again, right? So there's that x squared. Now watch how I'm going to let this follow. Right? When we do division, we divide, we What's the second step? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Isn't that true? That's what we've done so far. We divided, now we're going to multiply. I'm going to multiply this times this. I'm going to let everything follow. You with me so far? Yes or yes? yes. Here we go. So when I do that, x squared times x squared, x to the fourth. x squared times 3x, Positive 3x cubed. x squared times 1. Everybody, can everybody follow this math? Is positive x squared. You said that the next step is to subtract. Isn't that right? We have to subtract this whole quantity out. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add the opposite of everything. So this, this negative sign right here, Mr. Behrens, it's going to go here. Negative times a positive is negative. Negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times a positive is a Negative. Do you see that if any of these were pos negative already, they would go to positive? Okay. Going to do just what you said. You said you're going to divide. You said you're going to multiply. You said you're going to subtract. We're going to do that now. So let's subtract. And here we're going to get what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here. Good job. Negative x squared. Negative 3x cubed. Yes or no? And this goes to zero, right? So we completed the whole cycle. You said you were going to divide. You said you were going to multiply. You said you were going to subtract. You said you were going to bring down. Um, at this point, I don't feel any need to bring that down to you. If you ever do, you can, Billy. You could bring this piece down to here, but it's not going to help us anyway, is it? We're going to divide now. you got to really hear me on this. Going to divide negative 3x cubed divided by x squared is what? Oh, yeah, is what? Is negative... 3x. What do I have, Billy? I have this, this piece right here, Billy, negative 3x cubed, right, divided by x squared. You see it? This piece here, Bill, divided by that one, is, and you said is negative 3x. You agree? <clears throat> Remember, we're only following this lead term right here. Somebody's going to go home and they're going to be like, oh, how, what, how does this divide? I don't give a crap how that divides. Do you? Okay, good. Now, we said we we're going to divide. We divided. Now, we're going to do what? So, we're going to multiply. So, we're going to multiply this times this, then this, then this. Somebody's cussing at me on this video because of all the lines, but do you see it? Is equal to what? Negative 3x cubed. Keep talking. Here? Yeah, so 
What is he talking about? This? Oh, I haven't done it all yet. I'm still working on it. Banjo. Minus what? Minus 9x squared. Now what? Minus, minus what? Minus 3x. Just sit there and eat your Halloween candy, you lug nut. We divided, we multiplied, now we said we're going to subtract. subtract. So here's our subtraction. You know what? You're a strange little man. Going to distribute this negative sign, right? Because we're subtracting out this whole quantity. Doesn't it? Subtraction means to add the opposite, right? So negative times a negative is a positive A. Positive A. Positive. Get rid of all this crap. Yes or yes? And we get what here? 8x squared plus 3x. What do you want? To, oh, holy macaroni. I know. Plus 3x. Now what? Let's take out this minus 16. Let's bring that down. Minus 16. Now what? Divide again. And we have 8x squared divided by x squared is just 8 plus 8. Now what? I'm going to multiply. If you're thinking about putting a comment on my video it's about too many colors, I get it. You're hurting my feelings. I'm sensitive. Not as sensitive as Joel, but relatively sensitive. Joel, what do we get here, buddy? 8x squared. Good job. Plus 24x. Oh, you're brilliant, son. <laughs> Plus eight. <laughs> now what? It's a bird. Change. Yeah, good job, Billy. Change all these signs, right? And this, whoa, holy cheese and macaroni. Now what? Now what here? What happens here? Negative what? Twenty-four, right? Lug nut. What is this? Right. What is this piece down here? Right, and this is called the remainder theorem. So our remainder. So here's our answer right here. This is our answer up here, isn't it? With a remainder of what? Right? right? So what I'd like you to think about tonight as you're doing this, what is 15 divided by 2? 7, 14, 1. How do you get 7 and a half? Where does the half come from? That's right. So the one half comes from this is the one here, isn't it? And this is the two. So how do you think this plays out? That's a fair question. All right. Looking forward to your comments. Something nice. Something sensitive.